Did you ever imagine we'd live in a world obsessed with face masks? The importance of adequate personal protective equipment, or PPE, for people working at the medical frontline during the COVID-19 pandemic has made Australians consider a problem that had never crossed their minds. How do we properly protect the people working to help us survive a global pandemic? Problem solving has always been important to me. I love crosswords, puzzles. I like that challenge of using your brain power to solve a problem and knowing when you've completed something and got it right. That love of problem solving is one of the things that drew me towards biomedical engineering and the type of research we do at the Medical Device Research Institute. The COVID-19 pandemic created a huge demand for locally produced PPE, particularly protective masks. Until the pandemic, mask testing was primarily done outside of Australia. With a huge increase in demand, the time taken for overseas testing was growing too long. With the support of the South Australian Government and in collaboration with colleagues from UniSA, we established the South Australian Mask Testing Facility to help local industry meet demand in a severely disrupted market. With the support of Flinders Foundation, we've also been able to expand the facility's function to include textile testing, which allows surgical gown manufacturers to test resistance to bacteria, viruses and fluids. Of course, once the new testing facilities were activated, it opened up new research questions. For example, our test showed many fabrics can effectively filter out 95% of coughed or sneezed aerosol delivery, but there's still an issue to be solved when the mask design itself allows 50% leak around its edges. We're now working with clinical colleagues to test personalised novel face mask seals that are moulded to fit the faces of individual healthcare workers. My team is also collaborating with businesses and organisations around Australia, helping industrial designers, manufacturers and importers with vital research, testing and product development. The world's obsession with PPE may fade, but the Medical Device Research Institute has shown it's well placed to address major societal challenges and I believe we'll look at 2020 as a watershed moment in the development of Australia's position as a global leader in the growing medical devices market.